Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. How are you today? Uh, yes, it's a little bit of an earlier stream. Got my work done for today, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a live stream, and since the Tamiya BBX came out today, or its official release anyway, why not do a live stream? Share the build with everybody. Uh, this is going to be all new to me, as it is to you. So um, this is going to be pretty exciting. Um, check in, let me know where you're watching from. Uh, a yay early-ish stream for Europe. Yes, that's true, Sisyphos. Uh, enjoy. And he's already late, actually right on time. Right on time. Um, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a fairly long stream because I have never built a BBX and this is quite literally the first moment I've opened any of the bags. I did, in preparation for this stream, already paint all the panels and pre-build all of the shocks. Um, now, there's one thing I can say about these shocks right away. These are the best Tamiya shocks I've ever seen right out of the box, and so much not the Tamiya way. <laughs> they're actually, they're really good shocks. Um, as you can see, these are the longer, these are the rear ones. These are the front ones, so a significant difference in overall length. Um, but aluminum bodied, plastic caps, uh, but these are bleeder caps. And if you've watched Josh's or uh, RC Drivers, if you watch Harley Designs or RC Drivers video uh, reviews of this uh, BBX kit, uh, you'll know that uh, these caps are true bleeder caps. You do have to drill a one millimeter hole from the underside of the cap uh, to initiate that actual bleeder cap screw working. Uh, but yeah, these are really nice and smooth and uh, fantastic. I think, like honestly, the amount of effort that Tamiya put into not just uh, X uh, rings in the actual uh, piston area here, but uh, the, pla the rubber uh, gaskets around here and around here, they really did their homework. These are really good. Really good. Um, and I think... That's going to sort of be the prevailing sort of opinion throughout this build. This is, while it is still the Tamiya way, it's also not the Tamiya way. So, um, yeah, I think it's probably a good idea to get started. There's a lot to cover, and um, there will be some upgrades along the way. The first hop-up option that we'll be doing is the slipper clutch set. Uh, instead of just the locked clutch, we're going to put a slipper clutch in there. Uh, to uh, give a little more freedom on the drive line. Shocking how good they look. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> they are quite shocking. We've got uh, Norway, Baltimore, Netherlands, Bellingham, Washington, uh, Santa Clarita, UK in Devon. Right on. Uh, LA, um, Poland. Wow, everyone. Sutton, UK. I'm so glad that we've got some of the European contingent uh, and the other continent uh, on board tonight. That's going to be awesome. Tonight for you, today for me. Uh, now, um, another thing. A lot of folks probably are just going to go box art and do a nice navy blue color, and that's cool, uh, but I didn't want to do that. So I went with, uh, and it, it's in the thumbnail, uh, but I went with a really nice purple, which I thought looked fantastic with those decals. Now, um, this is not a standard Tamiya color, I kind of built this. Uh, I used fluorescent purple from Traxxas, and then I backed it with the anodized purple from Tamiya, and then I backed that again with their standard purple. And uh, it's got a really nice look. I think it looks awesome with the decals, with the red, orange, and yellow. All those primary colors uh, with some secondary colors mixed in, I thought it was like a perfect mix. Kentucky Sky Purple. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I did see a question early on in the chat before we went live. Uh, and um, yes, you do get blank number plates and you can add whatever numbers you want. Where are those decals? They are over here. Uh, you get a whole sticker sheet of numbers and blank plates. So if you don't want to go with number 45 like they have in the box art livery, you can go with whichever ones you like. Although they do also include the 45s. So... Uh, lots of different options there. Uh, this is going to be a fun kit, so let's just get started. We've already opened bag A, which is all of this stuff here. It does have a ball diff, so that'll be 
fun to fiddle with. Um, yeah. Hey now, Kentucky in the house. All right, awesome. Tennessee sky purple. <laughs> Lots of good choices for names. All right, uh, let's start building. First, first step is to charge your battery, which uh, we're going to skip that one and go straight to the ball diff. Uh, there is a ball diff joint long, of which there are two. One has the post in the center, so we're going to start with that one. Uh, let's probably zoom in a little bit, huh? Zip. That's better. I like it. Uh, so here we go. Uh, let's just get started with these uh, this ball diff here. Um, now, there's probably a lot of ball diff grease that's going to be required. Uh, thankfully, we've got one of those in here somewhere. There it is, ball diff grease as labeled. We're going to do this as box stock as possible, except for the hop-ups that uh, Tamiya was kind enough to include when they sent me the kit. My thanks, of course, to them for doing such. Uh, I've been sitting on this for a while. It's been um, sitting unbuilt for a long time, and I always it was always my intention to build it live. I like to share this sort of thing with you. These new builds are always a lot of fun to do live because you just never know what's going to come out of it. And... Uh, you know, this way you get sort of like my real, as real as it gets, first impression on how this whole thing goes together. Which is fun. It's a good way to share. Uh, no ball grease jokes, except that one. <laughs> uh, driving, checkered past. Thanks for joining. Um, you can go back and watch this one in its entirety later on. Don't do it now. You're driving. Be safe. Uh, Carolina Ghost. How's the Gladiator body build going? I finished that uh, last night. And um, it's got a lot of bits. A lot of pieces. So um, I'm kind of happy that one's over. <laughs> it's, it was a lot. Um, one other great thing that isn't at all the Tammy away usually... Uh, all the ball bearings are included, which is spectacular. So rare to see that. Uh, but a nice, a nice addition. Um, we've got some washers I need to locate. That's not it. Spacer. Hello, Spacer. Oh, here you are. In the unopened bag over here. Hobby room. Thank you very much. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter how far you progress in the hobby. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned Tamiya build. Agreed. Tamiya builds uh, will always have a strong place in my heart. Uh, it's where I started in this hobby. Uh, all those years ago, and uh, something I'll never ever forget, I don't think. They're fantastic. Now here's where these uh, magnetic mats kind of fall apart for you. That goes there, and then we get our differential gear. And I think it goes either way, it doesn't matter. And we got to put the balls in. Big balls? Small balls. Big balls. <laughs> Harley Designs. Hi, Josh. I watched your video this morning. Uh, I was uh, I was shocked at how much you liked this vehicle. I mean, I'm not shocked at how much you like it. I'm just shocked that you liked it. That, to me, was... The most interesting part of this. Look at these things. Do not... Man, oh man. If one of these goes missing, I'm screwed. Yeah. Ugh.
concentration, the finesse. Balls are all getting magnetized, <laughs> making it more challenging. Uh, hopefully everybody had a nice week. Uh, it was so nice to be back home again. I, I really enjoyed Colorado immense. Dang it. Really enjoyed Colorado immensely. Um, but I was happy to be home and see Rebecca and my dog. There we go. All the balls in the diff. Uh, on all fours, RC, thank you very much. Just wanted to say uh, thank you for your inspiring content. Ah, and Europe-friendly Europe timing for this build. Well, assembly, anyway. <laughs> yes, uh, it's definitely assembly. But what an assembly. So far, this has gone, uh, you know, about as well as expected. Um, there we go. And then some ball diff grease on all the balls which I'm just going to kind of smear in there hope for the best there we go okay good job now we can plop this on sick all right ball diff oh my gosh all right now the next part, compress fully once, then attach. Where's that spring? Here you are. And watch it. Watch me do it, and just go spring, <laughs> and then gone forever. Because <laughs> that is a tiny spring. Um. Okay. That goes. Oh, let's assemble this post first. Where's that piece? Why do I feel like? No, that's the top gear. Top gear, top shelf. There we go. That piece there. And then we need an MA18 spacer. Thrust wa thrust washer. Hello. Okay, we need two of those. Put one there first. A little more ball diff grease on there. Uh, if there's any step you need me to do again, or uh, show you in more detail, let me know in the chat. I'll do my best to pay attention to those things. How the heck are all those balls going to stay in there? There's no way other than just like plopping them in there. Gosh, this is going to be tough. I have not built a lot of ball diffs in my day. It's not my usual bag baby. Uh, this isn't a typical Tamiya vintage re-release or a modern race buggy. Where does it fit in the grand scheme of the RC category? Good question. Um, I think it's kind of a little bit of both um, because you're right. It's not, it's not a vintage re-re and it's not a modern like race buggy per se. It's sort of like, I'd say it's it's Tamiya's way of sticking to what they're used to, which is sort of like the nostalgia or, you know, w the way that um, they sort of market things is like as an enthusiast level sort of thing, uh, but modernizing. And like modernizing, I mean like by, you know, making this a bit more current. It's not going to be like, it's not mega current. It's not like a race buggy like you suggested. Um, but I don't think it's intended to be. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? It's somewhere in the middle. Those are small balls. Tiny little things. Try doing a ball diff for a mini B. I, th I guess that's small. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, then this goes on there. Good. All balls in place. And then, does it matter which side this goes on? Note direction. Yes, it does. So let's make sure. That's the top. Okay, so that goes into this side. Screw that in. Yes, do hit the like button. Matt's top tier content deserves it. Thank you, Mr. Cataract. Very kind of you to say. Okay. So far, so good. We're going to probably need a longer screwdriver than that one. Uh, oh, yeah, where's that screw or spring to compress once? They're not small, they're average. <laughs> Uh, one compression done then we plop that in there and then this aluminum cap goes on top of that and obviously in between the two parts of the dog bone so it can't slip and that piece flies out the bottom all the balls go flying <laughs> Are you building this to decompress from being yelled at all last weekend? Well, Josh didn't yell too much, uh, if I'm honest. He was pretty good. Uh, I don't. Maybe that's because there wasn't that many reasons to yell. <laughs> all right. Sick. That's good. Holding diff joint long in place, tighten diff screw around seven turns with a screwdriver. That sounds about right. Hold both diff joints in place and ensure that the differential gear does not rotate. Yeah, we're good. Small balls move just as well as large ones if your thrust washer is properly adjusted. <laughs> hey, Kevin Nugent. Good way to wind up the work week. Uh, that's a good looking platform they brought out. It has a lot of... Uh, Great has a great look to it. It definitely does. Uh, okay, so now that our ball diff is assembled, let's move on to step three. And uh, let's start making the top shaft, which we're going to be replacing because we've got the slipper clutch set here. So let's dive into that. Cool. You're going to have to read the instructions for this part, I think. Nothing was smoking or on fire, so why yell? Exactly. That's true. Uh, I didn't I didn't break any of my cars. Like, nothing broke. I was able to complete all the courses, which was great. Well, not complete, but participate in. <laughs> uh, which was fantastic. I was really happy about that. See, I think this piece replaces that one. Let's see here. In place of main shaft, the main shaft being this one, we do not we do not use. Okay. Let's get started. This piece here. Ball bearing goes on the back side. Ball bearing goes on the front. That's not the right one. Maybe it is. Yes, it is. There. Good. And then we have this and the pressure plate. Oops. Yeah. Add spur gear.
that again. Brush plate. That will go on the slipper shaft. Okay. We'll come back to you in a moment. Uh, Matt, will this be the feature car in Flying Cars 2? We can only hope. Man, that would be great. <laughs> Somehow I doubt it. I don't think this is... I don't think Flying Cars uh, is going to... Uh, I don't think Flying Cars 2 is ever going to be a thing. Unfortunately. It's too bad. Uh, A15, I bet, is going to be a plastic piece. Yes, so we're going to have to find some plastic. Good thing I have all the plastic parts here, all the trees. A15, I think we're going to need two of those. No longer driving, so I don't think I'm driving and texting. That's good. can't have accidents because of this show. The only accidents are the ones that I do when I'm putting these together. A15 times 2. What's everyone's plans for the weekend? Uh, I know what I'll be doing. Uh, I've got the Utron play with. Got the BRX02 Land Rover to play with. Um, what else do I have? Other things? <laughs> There's a lot going on all of a sudden. Which is good. That's good. It's nice to be busy. Uh, I've also got some real work to do. Um, so yeah, there's plenty going on for me. Uh, gosh, I miss these builds. Hope to see more, uh, this year without Lexan. Well, you will. There's, uh, a couple of things coming that won't be Lexan, which is good. Uh, all right. S. Four. There's a surprisingly few number of, uh, parts, like plastic parts. Like, uh, they're all still on the sprues, uh, which shouldn't come as a surprise. Uh, good evening, fellow Aston Martin fan. Hello, Rab. How are you? I am well. That's S4. Let's start putting this together here. Fitment uh, on things so far has been really good. Now, I wonder if it matters which way this goes. I probably want the adjustment on the outside, so let's do make sure we do that. Uh, street festival in front of the store tomorrow. That's great. Cool. Matt has lots to catch up on now that he's not jacking around with that printer machine. <laughs> the bamboo carbon. X1 carbon. Uh, that thing requires very little jacking around. <laughs> It's uh it's been super rock solid. But yes, it's there's been a tremendous amount of printing going on. That is so very true. Um why do I feel like I still need to make this? I wonder. Maybe not. No, I I guess you don't cuz that does get replaced by the other top shaft. I think we're okay. Let's see. Let's just see how this goes. Yeah, it's showing you don't need that part. Okay, cool. Um, I'd really like to see someone make a video of this on a trail ride. Josh Martin, that sounds like exactly what I'm going to do. So don't even stress it. That's coming as soon as it's built. Um, nice little three gear style trans, huh? Pretty cool. Um... Where does this go? 
right up into here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. There's the other half of my transmission. He jacks around in the woods the most. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, yes. That's true. Oh, you know what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's put some grease on things. Oh, that's weird. There was no lid for that one. Hmm. Interesting. Is this the right grease? Molybdenum. Grease. Ceramic grease. That's... Wait. Should I double check that? I feel like that's... A, can anybody remember if... Molybdenum grease is the same as ceramic grease? I have a feeling it is. Let me just take a look at it. Yeah, that's the same stuff. Same stuff. No stress. Goop up all those gears all nicely. Watch me get to a later step and they're like, do not use molybdenum grease. <laughs> it's fine. There we go. Nice. Good fitment. Feels good. Feels good. Looks good. Hex wrench 2 mil. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. What a world we live in. Where I can just fire up the old DeWalt for a Tamiya build. What a world. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. <laughs> it's going to make things so much better. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that. Hex hardware throughout. Solid. So great. Okay. That's done. So now let's move on to step five. And where do we go from here? We need B8. Find these parts. Ah, here we go. I'd like to see a normal crawler by Tamiya. Good luck with that. Who knows? It could it could happen. I'm not saying it can't. Uh, I would just be really surprised because I don't think that's their market. I think. Their market is much more geared towards kind of unique stuff, uh, like we're seeing with this. Nice aluminum motor plate. Hey, Tradilio! Don't you guys work during the day? Oh, wait. Yes, we do. I did my work already today. Thank you very much. Um... Just don't have to do any right now. Oh, that's cool how that goes together. It keys in. I don't know if you can see that. Sort of this Mickey Mouse kind of face here. But that keys in. To the, uh, to the, the transmission. Right there. That's neat. And this goes this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Maddie likey. Rich, check it out. It's all hex hardware on this. Bet you never saw that coming. Amazing. I already, like... This is good so far. This is very good. Okay. What's next? Okay, so we have to skip a couple of steps here. Uh, because 
we're going f directly from this to this and this goes all the way through to the other side sweet yes awesome then on this side we get this guy spring this guy again wait yep okay and then a 2.6 mil lockout and need a T wrench good thing I've got seven billion of them tighten that on toe daddy watching you from work are you done yet no they say about 4.8 millimeters off and there is a diagram to help you with that. And I'd say we're pretty close. I'm gonna leave it there. Awesome. That was a pretty easy transmission to assemble and very familiar design. Like this three gear has been used in everything. You may have missed a countersunk screw under the spur gear. Oh, I did. Thank you very much. This is why Tim and Yeti boy, you guys are the best. This is why viewership is so important and interaction is important. Without you, I'd be lost. So helpful. Thank you for that. That would have been bad. Uh, 10 mil? That's not it. There you are. Thank you, gents. Get there. Uh, I need a spotter. <laughs> yeah, it's helpful. Wow. Makes such a huge difference. There we go. Okay. Put all this back. Tighten that screw back on and we are good to go. I think an old SCX-10 transmission would fit right in there. Yeah, it might actually, Phoenix. Very similar design. I mean, if it ain't broke... Don't fix it. Yeah, good catch, guys. Much appreciated. Okay. Moving on. We are done with those steps. I think we can turn the page. Time to put on the motor. And for this one, uh, I'm using um, a Hobby Wing Just Stock 21 and a half turn uh, race setup. Probably not. Uh, probably not too much. Probably just the right amount of motor um, for something like this. Uh, I don't think it needs to be mega hot, so we're just gonna go with it. What the? We still use these things for spacer. That's why. Uh, RC Underdog, thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I am setting toilets at work. Enjoy the build mat. I'm gonna catch as much as I can. Right on. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for watching. It's very much appreciated. Okay, now let's set up a couple of these with some washers. Where are the other washers? ma one four, three by oh seven. Yeah, these are them, okay. It's always a little bit nerve wracking when you see like an extra bearing. 
Like, where did, uh, where'd that go? Or where didn't that go? Have a good weekend, Rich. Thanks for checking in. Hey, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I got a lot more Hot Wheels. We'll compare collections another time. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Get this. Organized. We'll just hand tighten these. Will you be soldering a Tamiya plug on? <laughs> that would be the Tamiya way. But I think we'll pass on that one this time. Let's see if I can find the hole. Nope, not that one. So close. There we go. Now, this is the uh, 18 tooth pinion that they include. Uh, I saw that uh, RC Driver was using a 26. Um, but uh, we'll put this on for now. And uh, hey, Dana. Get back to work. <laughs> now, which way do they want us to put? Oh gosh. Yeah, the pinion goes the other way. There's more shaft that way. <laughs> Although there isn't on this one, oddly. So we'll just put it on this way for now. Good enough for jazz. Everybody knows the trick, right? Get yourself a little strip of paper. That's all you need. Stick it between the spur gear and your pinion, and then tighten it down. And that should give you the perfect mesh every single time. And it also crimps your paper, too. So if you need to make, like, a bunch of crimped paper for, like, a gift or something, got that there, too. <laughs> okay, motor's in. Rock and or roll. Okay, let's move on and put the spur cover on top. And uh, we'll add the... Um, we'll add the stickers for this at a later juncture. I'm not going to spend too much time stickering today. Because I want to just get through the assembly. There we go. There's some different plastic compounds too. Like this feels a lot more uh, pl pliable than some of the other plastics I've seen from Tamiya. Um, sick. That all feels very good. And we're already putting this in the chassis. And uh, this piece feels pretty interesting too. Uh, it's, you know, it's their molded plastic, but it, it's not that sort of, see, there's some, some pliability to it, some, some movement. Um, not like their older, more rigid, hard plastic. It's got some give, which I think is, is good. Okay. And, oh, this is nice. It's keyed again. So you can see there's a nice, like, little tab there through the transmission and that goes right into there is it motor forward no it's motor motor backward so it goes this way cool i like that very much 
And then we've got some uh, more hex hardware here. Oops. That's where my shaky hands come into play. So the Tammy Away has been updated, yes. Turn that down a little bit. Tamiya melted down the millions of plugs and they're using that for this model. <laughs> Possibly. Is this one of their higher end kits? It seems like they've really stepped up the quality. Yes. Um, according to Tamiya, uh, the TRX or the TRF stuff usually has hex hardware and is very similar to in construction to one of these so that's sort of like blending the two i would imagine now i'm going to probably have to extend those wires that might not be long enough we'll see how it goes uh urethane sheet is that this it must be this seems odd to cut these I don't think that's it. There must be another thing. In C, that's in E. Maybe that is it. Um, I'm sure that's to kind of give you room for a battery. That, see that there? That's probably to give you room for the battery or less room, or more room, depending on what you need. I'm going to skip that for now. Hands of a sturgeon. <laughs> uh, where did you miss a bearing? I don't think I missed a bearing. I think it's actually probably for the back of that. That's my guess. And that's a piece we're not using. Hence why you don't need that, 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 or any of these. That's my guess. We're going to just move those off to the side like they don't even exist. Okay, so we've got the lower deck on. Uh, now we move to bag B. Let me get all this stuff out of the way for now. Seal up our ball grease. I have to say, I like what I'm seeing on this kit. I really like the way it ends up looking when it's all built. I know, I am so stoked to get it finished. We're a long way from that, though. Now we get into some more of the boring stuff. Uh, that won't be very interesting to watch, but is absolutely essential to the build. Let's get out bag B. I'm not even close to the D bag yet. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting right here. <laughs> Fear this won't be very exciting. B bags usually... One of the worst bags, from what I can recall. Easy with the ball grease. <laughs> okay, trailing arm linkages. Open all these bags. Uh, pit mat ha is coming in handy because these are not stainless. This is not stainless hardware. It's steel, so things are sticking, which is great. Uh, ball bearings throughout. Have not seen a bushing anywhere, which is awesome. Uh, what was the last Tamiya kit you built? Put it in the comments. Curious to hear what latest, greatest thing you built. Okay. Four of these, three and four, and we're gonna need a lot of these. These A twenty four. I don't know which ones those are. Let's go to the A bag. Here we go. These are big. These are the big ones. Holiday buggy. TTO2 Escort. Hey, Wyatt. How are you, buddy? How is the Suga treating you? 
Wyatt, who do you know over at ProLine? I have I have a proposal, and I need to get in touch with somebody that uh, can uh, can do things for me. <laughs> oh, might as well get out the proper tools for the job here. I don't know if that'll work. That won't work. Crank them on by hand. That's fine. Tammy, a lunchbox, 2016 Blackfoot. Oh, nice. Monster Beetle, XVO2, TO2, TAO2 SW, Subaru Brat, Holiday Buggy, lunchbox, TCO1. Ooh, with the McLaren Senna kit. Nice. That's amazing. Moose Jaw, happy Friday to you, sir. Uh, this buggy looks like a must have. I could not agree more. A19. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was working pretty heavily on the, um, gladiator body. I really wanted to get that finished and now it is fit MB 11 into side of a 24 with Mark. Huh? What does that mean? Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. That's easy. Justin V smells good in here. That must mean your screen name was... Hmm. Place your bets on the mod chat for what? Wyatt, oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. I want to... I have a... I have a proposal. They're going to want to hear it. Make two of the shorty I got you. Shorty, I'll make two for you. My wife is kindly, she's upstairs right now on the Peloton, but she's kindly wearing her headphones so we don't get a copyright strike for any music that may be featured. Get the Wild Willy kit. Those are fun. Now I need another A19. You'll see scale build. Okay, fine. I'll check it out later. Wild One Blockhead is missing some soldering and it's done. I have the Wild One Blockhead in a box. I have... I have an inordinate number of Tamiya kits that are still in the box. I am a bad human. I have, let's see if we can count them up here. I have the Egress. I have the Avante. I th think I have an Astute. Uh, I've got those two old Porsches to build. Oy. So many. Ah, and then we need to do two more in the long version, which is the A18. One of those. One of these. I've got the Kyosha Ultima. Nice. Uh, I have the Ultima as well. Mine is a Riri. Um... Where the rest of those thingies go? Where are they? Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Um, I have the Optima Mid, which is all done, just needs to be driven. I was all excited. I had it planned to drive. And my friend Dana, he was having a big get-together. I was all excited to go and drive my Ultima and my Optima Mid there. And, of course, I get the wickedest head cold. I'm like in bed can't do anything so annoying missing that not a good day very unhappy about that box is still not organized you're right andy i <laughs> i got that app on your recommendation and then consarn it if i didn't get super busy and just didn't get to it i i will though i promise because then I would know what I had. 
it's so funny because I think I've gone through this like six or seven times where I go up there and I forget where I've stored things. There's a couple of different places where things could be. And I completely miss some of them. And Rebecca's like, don't forget you got all these over here. <laughs> oh yeah, my clod buster. I got to get that up and running. It's all ready to go too. Just on, like so many things on the list I have just... Everything fall, fell by the wayside while I was doing my comp, oops, my comp builds because, you know, those were time critical. And now I have a bit more time, but of course there's a bunch of other things that I've got to build, so. There's no end. Just no end. We'll get there. Back to work. Lunch is over. Bye, Eric. Thanks for checking it out. Hey, Francis. <laughs> I'm going to have to close the door so she just doesn't sit here and meow for the rest of the stream. Which is possible. Yes, Francis. Okay, so short, long. I'm going to put these doodads in. I wonder if I can use my tool for these. Protec RC. Uh, nope. Probably. Well, maybe. There we go. Yeah, that works. All right, there's one done. Having this tool makes everything so much easier. Because without it, man, getting these... Eh, getting those suspension balls in there would be complicated at best. I'm sorry for shaking the camera with my head. The light is literally right here. You guys are rad. No, you're rad. Everyone's rad. It's a rad day. E Francis is not capable of jumping up on the bench, thankfully. Otherwise, she would be up here and... It would just be a constant barrage of love. Okay. Tea. Where's the tea bag? These tea? That's D. This looks like it could be tea. P. Cat noise. Did I accidentally log into a Josh stream? Yes. I have cats too. Haven't seen the dog all day though. He took Rebecca on the funniest route. He just like sometimes he's just like, I'm gonna go which way I wanna go. T eleven. Alright. Rear bulkhead. That's like that. Okay. We got three fifteen. Oh wait, these are the short. Those are the long. And A are the short ones. Okay, so they go on top. This into this. X hardware, man. What a world. Fantastic. What a difference that makes. That alone is worth whatever they're they're charging for this kit. 
because it it just it makes everything so much more enjoyable and it just goes faster like the quality on this kit surpasses every Tamiya kit I've built ever probably you can just feel the quality Love the Tamiya hat. Thanks, Ben. I also have a Tamiya jacket. A Jun Watanabe, who is the uh, Blockhead Motors designer. Got one of his jackets, too. Okay, that's done. Now we need T10 and T2. Terminator 2. My CPU is a nil net processor, a learning computer. That goes together with this. Okay. Do not over tighten. Okay, I won't. Uh, the Tamiya pronunciation can go a lot of different ways. I prefer Tamiya. Some people say Tamiya. Other people say Tamaya. Whatever Josh says is wrong. That is undoubtedly correct. That he is wrong. And then MA5 by 8. Is that 8? No. 8 no one. That's not it. That's eight. It's not a, it's not a Tuma. It's a different movie, <laughs> but I'll allow it. Okay. Now we flip this around. And we put T8 on the back of that. Five, six, seven, eight. This one this way. Eight no and eight no. Okay, it's good. Now we attach this bulkhead to the bottom piece. Zoom out a little bit so we can see all of that. It's so gonna go right in there. And that, oh yeah, look at that, that's nice. Dig that. We need some ten mil. Three. Tammy, a USA in the house. Hi, guys. How's it going? Kudos on making a very fine kit so far. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. So awesome. Did you see what color I painted it? Uh, thanks for the hex hardware. I do really appreciate that. 
Um, you should put it in all the kits, not just mine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Everybody gets hex hardware. You get hex hardware. You get hex hardware. <laughs> it is really great. Um, it's really, really cool. And uh, uh, so far, a real pleasure to build. Is it the Tammy away? I funny you mentioned that or asked that question because at the beginning I said it sort of is the Tammy away, but it's also not the Tammy away. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of innovation, and I think that's something Tammy has always been pretty good at is like organ uh, like trying different things and doing new stuff. But there's also a lot of stuff in here that I would not have expected from you. So this is good. It's really good. It's like. It's put a smile on my face for sure. All right, now we're setting up the servo. Um, I'm going to be running uh, a low profile servo, which I think is sort of required for these uh, cars or buggies. This is the T T N Con Gurk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, servo saver. Are we going to go servo saver? I guess we might as well. Q1 and Q3. I know I've saw. That's V. Where's Q going to be? One of these. No. Servo ones. I know we'll need those. Where's my cues at? The manual better than the killer body gladiator manual. That manual was fine, Joe. Did you have a hard time with that one? If you did, put a comment down below. <laughs> Where's all the cue stuff? I'll find it. I'll find it. No. No. Oh. Well, that's some of it. That's not all I need. The plastic bits. That's Z. This is C. R. V. X. V. X. B. Oh, here it is. Found it. Found it. Power tools on a Tamiya. Yeah? Why not? I pretty much always use Q1 or Q3. Wait, oh, right, because we... Is this going to be a Futaba? Anybody want to take guesses on the spline count? Futaba or... Sanwa. <laughs> Pro tip about our manuals, read every panel step. We give you tips. Yes. Hey, look at that. I was right the first time. Awesome. Now where's that? T7. All right. I know I saw a T. Maybe I've got T up here. Yep, here we go. It was 25. Texas Toast, thanks for doing a live stream today, Matt. Helping me get through the last couple hours of work. Right on. Glad I can be of service. I like to help. All right, so. Utaba. 
or fut futiba, <laughs> whatever you prefer. Servo saver. Ugh. I don't know why they need two of those on there. Just one should be enough. That's what I think. <laughs> okay. Food. Spoiling. Digital servo. Cool. And then that. All right, excellent. Now we can set up the steering linkage, which is S, that's T, these are A. I know where those are, somewhere. This is always the fun part. I could probably be better organized. It's probably one place where I've faltered so far today. Yes. Four, six. I don't think Matt cared much for my inappropriate super chat. Did I miss a super chat? I may have. I did. I'm sorry, Hobby Room. Thank you very much. Uh, Hex hardware on a Tamiya is uncomfortable in the same way as having a hot cousin. <laughs> Hearts right and wrong. <laughs> ah, that's great. I love it. <laughs> Uh, Red Bull and Tamiya not likely to happen again. Did that happen in the past? On what was that then? I wonder. I'm trying to think of what that could have been. All right. Threadlock. What are we doing first? No. Yes. love awesome. look at that what the what oh they want you to grease it in case it's difficult to get in the hole <laughs> it's not that difficult b7 is a ball bearing Nice to see ball bearings everywhere in this kit. The best. So good. Oops, I put the wrong one in there. It's okay. It's all right. I know a guy at Red Moose. Yeah, if you want a Red Moose livery, I'm your man. <laughs> um, and fret not I'm going to print another one of those Suga bodies and do up another build with it I think because I really did love that body I think it uh, I think it just worked so well
and it looked great too. by eight, a 10. Found you. It goes here with this. Ball bearings are not always a pro part, not in this kit. This is just standard kit stuff, which is pretty cool. Note direction. It's been noted. And we need three by eights. One, two. I presume that there will be upgrade parts for these plastic bits to aluminum at some point. My guess anyway. How much is this kit? That's a great question. Uh, I'm not I'm not fully aware. I think I saw it. Uh, there's a link in the description. If you want to click on that, you could tell me. I know it's available for pre-order on Horizon right now, so if you wanted to pick it up, that would be the place to do it. What's next? More bearings. In there and on the bottom as well so nice to have bearings included 250 map not bad at all a12 Six, there we go. Three sixty five retail. Okay. Matt is a machine. Well, you know. We've already been at this an hour and 14 minutes. I'd like to I'd like to get the whole thing built on this stream. How much battery power? Still 70%. Plus I have another battery standing by just in case. Uh so I think we're we're probably going to be in good shape. Oh, attach first. Mm. <laughs> and thread lock all of those. So let's let's just not do that yet. MB13, steering post. Ah, I see. That's why you want it done first. I'll allow it. <laughs> Hop a few hundies off the money tree. Because <laughs> uh, we're now putting this onto the chassis. And those have to go in there. Like that. That's why they want you to do those first. And thread lock. So let's do that. Ooh, a blockhead motors edition of the BBX. That would be interesting. I'm sure what to, uh, June Sun would be interested in that. 
Let's get them into people's hands first. And then see what they what they can do. I feel like this is going to be a big hit though. I don't think we need a version like that, do you? <laughs> How dare you, sir? Yes, we do. <laughs> We need, we need more uh, blockhead motor kits that I don't build to just go on into the, the cupboards upstairs so my wife can remind me that I've got too many Tamiya kits to build. When are you going to build the Tamiya kits? I don't know. Sometimes I, I, I have that... Oh man, I've got the Lancia XV01. I've got another Lancia... Too many things to build. Okay, there we go. Steering rack installated. Let's move on to more A20. Two of those. Beep, bop, boop. Okay. MB20. Where do those come from? Ah, there. Look at these little guys. So cute. And three by fifteen. These are still expected to hit retailers in July. I believe that to be true. Uh, I just lost that. Ugh. Personally, I'd like to see a collab with Supreme. Oh my gosh. Didn't that one sell for crazy money? If I'm not mistaken. That would be cool to see. De Leon Slot Car Raceway, thank you very much. Please repeat what motor ESC combo you went with and why. Uh, I went with a Hobbywing Just Stock um, 21 and a half turn brushless censored setup uh, from Hobbywing. Uh, it's got the XP or XR10 ESC. Um, I went with it because it's what I had. <laughs> you could probably go with fewer turns. Uh, if I'm honest. The best thing about Tamiya's manuals is, is like stuff like this, where it's real size, so you know exactly how long or how short something needs to be. I personally love that. Where'd the rest of those go? Mm. I didn't throw them. Ah, no, that's not them. Where did I put the other ones? They were just here, were they not? I need them. Just finished my pre-order. Right on, Phoenix. Uh, you know what I would love to see is a spec class for these. At like a dirt raceway, that would be amazing. I want it to happen. Do you just make one of these? Oh, you just make one. What a doyoy. Okay. 17 and a half is classic stock buggy. Same as 27 turn brush. Nothing wrong with 21 and a half though. Yeah, it'll be a little bit lower. Thank you, Craig. Sometimes these things, you know, just get away from you.
these have to go in here. Email on both sides. Perfect. Sorry, that's out of frame. Now my hand is in the way. Just adding these um, spacer things. them on the bottom we'll see if horizon ships pre-orders first i wonder yeah i wonder who will the other thing i like to see is all these are recessed on the bottom all the screws are recessed so they're not flush with the plastic which means it'll be a lot harder for you to strip them running them in gravel or dirt which is really good okay that goes on here And now we install the servo. Goes in to route that through there. Yep. A nice one. Cool. What an 82. <laughs> Hi, Richard. How is it going? I'll be seeing Richard in. Uh, how many days? One, one week? No, that's not right. 18, nine days. I am looking forward to seeing you. Ooh, again. What color will you be painting a review sample? Well, I guess you weren't around for the beginning of the stream. I'll never tell. <laughs> Actually, I'll, sh I'll show you. Purple. Doesn't that look awesome? I'm chuffed. I'm super chuffed. Decals look great too, by the way. Uh oh. Missing an 8 mil screw. That means I used a 10 mil somewhere. Crumbs. We'll go with it. Kentucky Sky Purple. <laughs> uh, can't pick up. I hope you practice your Turk driving. I'm ready. I am as ready as I'll ever be. Oh, man, I had it. There we go. Okay. And then, oops, did I forget to put in, what's this, where does that, where did that come in? Missed a step. Somewhere. They don't show this step here. Oh, okay. If you want to adjust the height, you can. But I didn't. I knew you were a big Prince fan. <laughs> nice. You're missing a piece. Where? Did I get it? Where's my pliers?
Oh, I'm missing a piece on the steering element, aren't I? Yes, Q4. Ha ha ha. Servo horn, yes, thank you. Thank you. Q. Didn't I just have those here? I did, and now they're gone again. I was wondering why that wasn't tightening down. You're here all day. Thank you. Wait, this goes like this. Yeah, that's it. I remember now. Grimace would be an excellent drive. All right. Now what? Attaching steering rods. Is this designed to, like, tuck in there some way? Is that where the ESC... Is this where the ESC goes? We'll see. Cool. All right. Steering rod. Z. Make two. Oh, you bet I will. Until your parole hearing. <laughs> A friend of mine got his identity stolen, and the person who stole the identity bought four ATVs. <laughs> Just happened. Like, this week. It was pretty crazy, huh? All right. That's where your phone goes. No. Oh. Chris Kelly, there's no JIS hardware in this kit. Well, very little, actually. It's all hex. So what do you think about those apples? Uh, does Richard have one of these? No, he doesn't. Not yet. Very few people have these currently. Are you building Richard's wedding gift? <laughs> uh, no, I think he wants more of the traditional gift, which I believe is cash. Oh, man. These are like the reverse ones, so... Where's my shock pliers? This will make this easier. There we go. What was I thinking? Hi, Mike. Only four review sites got these in North America. Wow, I feel so honored. Thank you. That's really cool. I'm glad I didn't do it box art color. How close are we? Not very. How many hot dogs? <laughs> I'll have three, but I need mustard. I know how you feel about mustard. Not a fan. All right, there's one done. Retail price in Canada, you'll have to check with a local retailer, Mark. I, I can't do the conversion in my head and it's not always a straight conversion either. So far, only Harley did it box color. What a loser. <laughs> he blew it. He could have, you know, he could have painted it orange. 
right? RC driver did red. I'm doing purple. I strongly considered green. Josh could have done it orange. Who's the other, who's the other YouTuber that got it? Oh, Competition X. Tony. The other Tony. Not the same Tony, not CCXRC Tony. This is the way. <laughs> and somehow Josh was one of them. Yeah, exactly. Competition X, yes. Uh, have I considered raffling any of your builds? Hmm. No, I don't, I don't like the idea of raffling my builds because I'm not, I would rather somebody just buy it than, I'd rather somebody buy it and get it than a bunch of people buying for a portion of it and not getting anything. It's not really, I don't, I don't like that conceptually. Good. Okay. Left and right. Left being on this side. Right being on this side. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Turn in pages, front lower arms. They'll be the front and on the bottom. Oh, I need a stretch though. Uh, are you the bestest mensch? I am the bestest mensch. <laughs> That is not the way? What do you mean? Yes, it is. I am correct. Okay. Pushed in using long nose pliers. Raffling has strict rules in California, but we are a different kind of folk. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. It's not it's not for me. Scott Oblander, Daniel Trejo, how much would you sell your comp Porsche for? That thing is what dreams are made of. And if you think I'll sell it, you can keep dreaming. Because uh, there's no way I'll be selling that. Are these the front arms? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Porsche is not for sale. Um... I, I'm sure it was just a joke, but uh, one of our friends, Fish, at the comp was like, how much would it cost for you to not drive it and just, like, give it to me? He goes, is $10,000 sort of a good place? And I was like, we're not talking about this. This is not happening. We are on the sea bag now. Doug William Willman, thank you very much. Uh, 5 p.m. Have a cold one. It is 5 o'clock. Um, I've got substantial amount of building still to do here, so I think we're going to hold off on that. Got things to build. And many bags to do still, but thank you. Uh... Can I have your Porsche? Your real one? <laughs> I don't have a Porsche. The best I've got is Volvo.
I wish I had a Porsche. Actually, you know what? No, I don't. The maintenance costs alone. Forget it. Lots of tiny screws. Uh, how many of you, when you first started in this hobby and you opened your first Tamiya kit, how many of you took every bag and opened all of them and put them in one big bowl? Uh, pay attention to the direction on how to pop the balls to the plastic. They're directional. Copy that. I see this and this. And it looks like it's in from the bottom. Good, good. You look, you'd look good in a Jeep. <laughs> I would have. I did briefly. Well, no, that's not true. Five years. Five years-ish. Okay. Remove. And then a 2.6 two by 5 mil. Screw. Are these the non-hex head ones? Probably. And that goes in there to prevent, this goes in here to prevent a thing from thinging. My JAS. Oh, are we getting red lines? We are getting red lines. Uh, we'll see if we can get rid of those. <laughs> Dump mine in a jar of peanut butter. Oh, Richard. I still dumped all the screw bags in one tub before building. Let me give you some advice. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it so much easier when you don't do that. Do the 2200 milliamp 3S packs fit well? I have no idea, but this is a big battery tray. As you can see there, there's some substantial space, so you should be should be okay to get a good sized battery in there. Four. Can you guys see that okay? There we go. Need some of these. Posts. These are the 46 mil. New. No. These are. There. Dustly. Good. Good. What? Are, where about? Where do these go? T5 and T6. Looks like the red lines went away. You got a big TV? Tell me. Can you see them? 3S is way overkill? Probably. Yeah, I think this is more like a 2S 5000 milliamp pack. Probably going to be plenty.
Oh, I see. Does that attach to this? Yes. Yes. Probably going to plop into there or something. Mm hmm. I was right. Attaching front bulkhead. Before we get there, this. Oh, yeah. This is. Ah! Can't be more chuffed with how this is all coming together. Eight mil, eight mil, eight mil. Yeah, this is this is nice. Okay, that's on. And now this piece goes in like that. Need some 14 mil. Gosh, we're nearly into cage construction. There's still the rear uh, trailing arm setup that we need to do. But that's been told that's an interesting step. You and Harley BBX speed runs. <laughs> yeah, that could be a thing. A1. What I've been told, there's not a lot of carryover between this kit and anything else. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> A1 supposed to go on first before you put the bulkhead in. Better hurry, I'm on in three hours. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Three? Four, ding dong. It's only five o'clock here. You start at nine. This is the DeWalt 8-volt gyroscopic um, clutch driver. There's a good look at it right there. It's the best. Comes highly recommended. That makes more sense. I hope that uh, in most cases, these live builds, they tend to get a, uh, a lot more views later on. Once the, uh, once the vehicles are out, people tend to come back and refer to these anytime they have a problem. Usually you can avoid all the mistakes I make, uh, which is pretty good usually. All right, now we can put this aside for a second while we start on the cage. I asked about the Ooga Doogas earlier on the on the DeWalt. I usually have it set to eight Ooga Doogas. <laughs> hey. The fun stuff now. Pay attention to me. T13. Um. 
for an on off switch, which I don't think will connect to this layout. That's a sticky on -y one, so not a screwy any one. That's okay. Let's that go right there. And. mini screwdriver for these. Good thing I've got my iFixit kit with a selection of tiny, tiny Yeah, if you are going to get one of these drivers, it has to be the one with the clutch. Otherwise, it's a total waste of energy. Okay, now uh, we're doing some shock mount things here. A, oh boy, here we go. A10. A11, eleven. Oh no, two tens in an eleven. I hope we have enough of these. Yes, I'm most certainly one of those weirdos that rewatches your live streams. A lot of people do. I think they come in pretty handy. MB10 is going to be... Where is it? No. Here we go. Flying guy RC, thank you very much. Sorry I'm late. Was out buying Oakley and a servo. Cool. The roll cage is a blast to put together. Oh boy. <laughs> Why does that worry me? You're going to love this. Said with so much sarcasm. This. Oh wait. Uh, lock nut. Yes, thin. Uh huh. Oops. Oh dear. That goes on top of that. One of these goes through there. Checking in from Yuma, Arizona. Hello, Raymond. Really enjoying the live stream today and love the humor. Let me know when the humor starts. Uh, and then we need MC14, which I just saw one of those. Flanged tube. And they want you to glue that in. Is that what that is? Apply synthetic rubber cement. I can do that. I have some ready to go. Wait, should I apply it on the inside? Probably smarter. Come on out of there. Go and get. Bill DD, I've stuck my fingers to it. No, just kidding. Um, maybe a little accelerator will help. Jason Reeves, thank you very much. Keep it up. Yes, I will. We're getting there. We are getting there. I do love me, I do love me some live builds because even though I don't feel like there's urgency, I do. I always feel like I just want to be good and do a good job. Okay. 
tighten screws fully. And they want thread lock on the end of that, eh? Too late. I'm sure it'll hold. I'm not worried. Oh, and now we can put this on the chassis? Wow. You don't really need to glue that. <laughs> and why not? Don't add accelerator. Oh my gosh. Why, am I going to weaken the plastic? It's fine. It's made for that. <laughs> Too late. It's in there. No! No! They're all going to laugh at you! <laughs> no! Attaching the roll cage, right? It says it right there. Attaching the roll cage, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where's everything going to go here? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Everything's keyed in again for this. Fantastic. Let's zoom out. There we go. You can see how everything is just meant to go in places. Except for that piece. I don't know where that goes. Nowhere. Just attaches like that. Okay, cool. Oh, I see. Yes, amazing. It's great. No, not Mr. Bill. Not Mr. Bill. That was another gag, another joke. This is nice. I did not eat any screws. Classic Sandler bit. There you go. I like it when people get my jokes. That looks good. Looks very good. Okay, next we have a 27. Which isn't on the A sprue. What could that be? What's that look like? Oh, I know what those are. They're in the bag. Here we go. Are they the same? Yes, they are. Okay, so that goes on there. Another couple 10 mils. Oh, wait. Spacers. MA6. Just washers, 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 washers. So many washers. Two on each screw. That's a lot. Josh and I listened to it uh, on Colorado weekend. No. Oh. They're all going to laugh at you. J1. Jay. Did Matt install the slipper clutch? I sure did. I sure did. I wouldn't not put option parts on if they were included for me. I'm here for you. 
How did I do at the crawler comp? I did okay. Uh, 30th place in class one. No idea in class two because they missed a couple of my scores. Um, and then class three, I only ran a course because it was pouring and Josh didn't have a truck. So we were like, let's just not continue. There we go. You can move the washers around to adjust the camber. Ah, neat. I can dig it. Okay. Turn the page again. Let's move to the other side. It's coming together, my friends. Is that the one-fifth scale Baja? No. No. <laughs> this is miniature. Tenth scale. All righty. Okay. Just because Tammy got mad at me for doing this the last time, I'm not going to do it this time. That's the wrong one. This is the right one. Don't glue that. <laughs> Second old. But if I don't glue it, it's going to keep popping out. I don't like that. Uh, what are you thinking about? Uh, what are you thinking about of using the Boom Racing BRX02 kit for the new Gladiator body? Negative. Uh, it's not the right wheelbase anyway. The BRX02 is like, it's a long wheelbase. I don't have the box in here, but it's longer than, it's longer than 12.3 inches. I'll tell you that much. Um, no, I won't be using that for that. Threadlock. I'll, I'll threadlock one side and then not the other and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, I bet that little girl saved up her money from chores to pay off the judges to lose some of your scores. Probably. That sounds very likely. She's getting crafty, that girl. Where's the other? There it is. <sighs> I thought your class two was beautiful. Thank you. I thoroughly enjoyed driving it. It was a blast. Um, Wyatt, who was on the design team for the um, uh, SCX-10 Pro. He bought the body and interior and everything off of me. So it's now his. Um, he's putting on SCX-10 Pro, uh, which is really cool. Uh, unexpected. I can't wait to see what he does. Hopefully we'll see that soon. Okay, I think that's it for that. And now we can uh, put it on the ch chassis, chassis, if you will. Oh, that thing is going to keep popping out. If only I had glued it. Hey, uh, Turbo TT, how are you? Yes, an early stream. Um, with the intention of trying to get this built before Josh... Uh, jumps on his live stream, which I think uh, is more than doable at this point. Be much longer, actually. I sold the Suga. Just, yes, I did, but just the body. Not to worry. It's super easy for me to print another one. Do we get the Epsima Sherpa? Yeah, uh, briefly. You could buy one through Rebel RC, but they no longer exist. I had one for a little while. I did not 
Did not love it. Didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. Eight mil, oh, 12 mil for the front there? What's with me and not being able to find eight mils? Oh, there's one. It's an eight mil. Figured you'd file it away with like uh, with the Porsche. Um, no. That chassis is too good to file away. Like I'm gonna be using it again. Uh, so I've got to. Uh, I'm going to print another one and I'll, I'll put it on an SCX pro, um, J three, but I probably wouldn't use it again for a comp because it's just, it's, it's heavy. Where does this go in here? Yes, but how this way? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's where the 12 mil goes. Oh, I see. Top, top rat rod. No, I'm, I am, I'm not a fan of rat rods. That's not, that's not my bag. I don't, I don't mind if people make them. But they're just not for me. Okay. We're good there. We can do the other shock tower. Donk Suga. Ugh. Yet another thing I'm not into. <laughs> careful, careful. I feel like if you have a Suga, you should be chanting as if you were a toga party. <laughs> suga, Suga. <laughs> okay, that's all done. And that is where the ESC goes. Noise. I like that. That's great. And of course, my wires are too short. <laughs> Dang it. Stretch. Just enough. Ramp. So close. <laughs> Ramp. All right. We'll deal with that later. 
Um, that's an easy fix to make. Not a big deal. And plop the receiver back there for now. And we'll stick the switch right where it goes on the thing. What does BBX stand for? Good question, uh, Ben. I have no idea. Probably just the model buggy extreme excellence. <sighs> it sounds good to me. All right, and they put the receiver. What part is that? Where's that? Recognize this piece. It's a good location for the receiver, though. Oh, that must be a... Oh, J6. Ah, I see now. The whole part. Can you rotate the motor? Yes! Who's the smart guy in the room? Check out the big brain on Brad. That's right. Rotate the motor. I have to set my mesh again. But I'm fine with that. Yes. Yes. That will work. Fiddle dee dee. That solves all the problems. Thank you very much, Steve. Perfect. Excellent. And that is just enough. Wow. And it clears the, uh, just clears the, um, slipper panel as well. Perfection. Love it. Thank you. Best chat in the game, you guys, all of you. Couldn't do it without you. Appreciate you. Happy birthday, Ron. Cool. All right, now that that's solved... Ish. Yep. Where's that piece? Here we go. Back to business. So this goes this way. Very nice. Do like. 
So that obviously there. Get that battery. Oh. It slips in there. Nice. How does the, oh, this attaches with those things. Oh, okay. Right. Nice. And then MC three, some 12 mil ones. I think is that. I think, even though Tamiya said you don't have to glue those in, I actually liked gluing it in. Kept everything in the right place. Lots of room for the battery. This is cool. So you can see all of that now. That's where your receiver will go. Like so. Yeah. To get the battery in and out... Um, and we'll get this sorted out here in a second, but to get the battery in and out, you pull this and then this just pops right up. So you have all this room to slide your battery in and out. Brilliant. Love that. It's very, it reminds me of what Vanquish did with how they hinged uh, the front of the body. It's good. That's very good. I like that. Okay. We'll tape everything down later to so get everything organized um, for the time being let's just uh, put that pin let's put a pin in it and, uh, and move on to the next thing there is an antenna pipe at some place oh there it is should I just leave it the length that it is <laughs> where does that antenna yeah awesome <laughs> it's a little little long we'll trim that later once we get to that point okay where are we at here driver we're gonna skip him for now too i did not get around to painting him yet but um that will happen at some point b6 we can pop that piece on um B6. Nice smooth cover. This this is the plastic that I really like. It's got that pliability uh, that really kind of looks cool. Oh, and this is going to be great because if we can figure this one out, it covers the ESC so you don't see that. Tell me that's not cool as. I love it. Let me get the sensor wire plugged in here first. I can never... You look at it one way, you're like, that's the way it goes, and then it doesn't go that way. I hope this, I hope this fits. Be a lot cooler if it did. <laughs> Hopefully it fits. Eh, it's going to be a tight fit, I think. Fortunately, if we spin it this way, it might be better. Just doesn't like these wires where they are. Almost there. Not quite going to do it. Uh, 
Uh, this is just a 21 and a half turn. Let's assume that if this were in, I'll show you what it would look like. And we'll get that all sorted at a later date. Hmm. It faces backwards like this. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Then this probably can fit in there quite easily. <laughs> I mean, easier, maybe. I, I want this to be clean, so I will spend the time later to, you know, professionally clean it up. Yeah, that's sort of the idea. Yeah, sort of like that. <laughs> Boy, they want a miniature ESC in there, I'll tell you that much. But that's where that goes. Neat. Nice and clean. I do like that. That's very cool. Okay, moving along. Skip the driver for now. Uh, there is another piece that requires the driver. Um, I'll quickly show you that, and then we're going to move on. This goes over your receiver. Looks like that. And then the driver mounts on top of there. Let's get some more of these J parts in here. J2. Top. I opened another bag. No. J4. Goes in like this. And I probably used that screw for something else, so I'm just going to steal one, time being. Beauty of a kit that uses hex hardware, you probably already have extra hex hardware. Those pieces. Now the rear, oh, front upper arms. Those are D2.
All right. Have these in the right orientation. A little quieter while I work through some of this suspension stuff. Uh, snap some balls in place. Again, in the instructions, they do show you um, there are some like injection dimples. That's the side you snap these into. like that. I am also hungry. Right. Slip that in there. Oh wait, first we have to put it in here. Seems like there's a lot of play. Ah, there is a spacer, A8. Uh, where are you taking me for food? Uh, you want to go to Sizzler? You can go to Sizzler if you want. That is usually our our uh, takeout night, but I think we're I think we're eating in tonight. I think Rebecca's making something delicious. That goes in first. That somehow gets held in place. Red Lobster. Ah, more caster adjustment. Nice. This is, they've really thought this through. Like, there's a lot going on here. Good stuff. Good stuff, Tamia. I think we're almost there. I'm glad I pre-built the shocks, I'll tell you that. So if I hadn't, we'd be here for another 45 minutes. Okay, now that we've got that step done, I think we have another upgrade option. Yeah, aluminum front uprights, two pieces. Let's jump on there. Dog is barking. Okay, let's start. with the right side. Okay. First, we need a spacer. It's like a tiny, that's not gonna fit on there. What spacers are those?
Oh, C2. Okay, so it's actually like a heart part. Gotcha. In and out. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry to say. C2, C1. B2. Bearing. C1. And that goes in there. Toss another bearing in there. Double same bearings. No. Did it backwards. All bearing first. Ponderosa, all right. Then the big bearing. Then a pin for now. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Go. Wait. C's. Two goes first, and small bearing, C1, big bearing, clip, cool, put these on the car. After I stretch, Pizza Hut. Ah, I'm a Domino's guy. I like Domino's. Oh, we got to put the. Small spacer. One of these top hats. Are they all the same? Yes. Top hat. Through. Papa Murphy's. Never heard of it. So I presume we don't. Top hat. 14 mil. Your spacer. that well thread lock on these uh, oops no thread lock on this uh, this step eh I've probably told this story before but we had a, a pizza restaurant called pizza delight and to combat I don't know some kind of competition they started offering a make your own toast station <laughs> which honestly i could not see that being being a draw for anybody 
Make your own toast. Why? Yeah, I agree. B, these buggies do look awesome, and a spec or stock class would be the B's knees. 100% agree. Coming up on 6 o'clock, so we've been at this for how long now? Started at 3.30, so two and a half hours. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Unless my math is wrong. No, that's right. 6.30 will be three hours. We're rocking and rolling, man. Okay. Front steering done. And we've already built the shocks because I'm smart. So that's done. Skip that many pages. A9. Did I hear a niner in there? Back to a previously open D bag. It's D bag time. Hooray. Always worried by the leftover screws and stuff. Like, what are those for? Don't worry about it. We don't need those yet at all. There are some pieces here that we will not be using because there are upgrade parts to be to be had. But let's just get them all out for now. Okay. Clock's ticking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got lots of time, Josh. Lots of time. Okay, front shocks. Let's get those bleeder screws on the outside. That goes through there. And that goes in there. Need a 16 mil. No. Yeah, 16 mil. Zellers had a diner. I remember that. Twenty mil on the bottom. And fancy in there. Just goes in. Josh, go wait in the corner. Did I miss it? Nope, that went right through. Perfect. Nice. I love that he says clock's ticking. Like, sometimes you can't rush quality. <laughs> it just takes the time it's going to take.
Okay, front suspension, done. Now we can move on to the rear. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Now we're gonna need another hop-up option. Oh, I didn't use the alu aluminum servo stays. Whoops, okay, forget about those. Those don't exist. Well, here's the new swing shafts. They're, uh, they look very similar, but apparently the steel is better. So we're gonna toss those, use these. And we're gonna start building some trailing arms. Which are here. Oh, these look chunky. Lasering some special items. I already asked about those. I want one. Laser. Okay. Let's make some shafts. There's the retaining spring. There you are. Taser face. <laughs> Your name is Taserface? Yeah. Get over there. There we go. Perfect. There's one. Laser up some scale assemblers guild stuff. I don't know, man. This feels like building to me. Without a doubt. Okay, good. Now we need a bearing. Oh, should lubricate this. Ugh, gross. Too much. Too much. Good. Lubricated. And then this goes in here. This looks like a very cool suspension setup. And then we get... Um, These guys. They go in here. Pop some, pop some balls in there. You calling from a walkie-talkie? Sick. Make. Oh, this is just for the right. Okay, I guess we're doing them one at a time. Fine. No problem. Okay. So... Let's stick that in there, and then oh, I have to put the shock on first. 
Whoops. Easily. Okay. And, oh, I see how this goes. Okay, neat. Neat. That, and then this goes in there. This is a bit fiddly, I'm not gonna lie. Probably less hand, more hand tools, less power tools. All right, neat. This part is a little tricky. <laughs> but once you get it started, it's not that bad just getting it started that's a little tricky that's why we've got hand tools RC driver in the house? Ah, right on. Yeah, <laughs> you mentioned this part as well. Uh, and uh, you're like, this is going to be fun for you. <laughs> well, it isn't. It's not that bad. It could be a lot worse. I know all the tricks. There's no tricks. It's just do it or don't. Yes. Yeah. It is tricky, though. I'm not, not going to lie. Cool. And that'll obviously connect up there somehow. Sick. That's cool. I like that. Another top hat. A six, which is a washer. 12 mil screw. So nice. Uh, this, I, I'm sure that, okay, so Josh is in here. He built one. And Greg is in here, RC driver. He built one. That's a lock nut, so that doesn't need anything else. Perfect. There we go. That's all on there. Fantastic. Look at that. Trailing arm suspension. Neato. I like it. That's cool. All right, now we can do the other side. Much faster, probably. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but that's cool. That's a nice. That's a nice setup. Bearing. The wrong size bearing in there. I guess I must have. Did. Okay. We need more top hats. I only have two here. Oh no, there's a third one. Cool. Trailing arm. 
control toe in by using different spacers there. Nice. And missed the beginning of this, but are you going box art with the paint? Uh, no, uh, I did not go dark blue. I went purple, Ooh. purple, which I thought looked really good with the uh, red, orange, and yellow stripes. Agree or disagree? I think it looks great. All right, fiddle time. 16 mils. Yes. Uh, this is quite fiddly. But it won't take me too long. I think. Oh, can't forget to put the shock on there first. There we go. Put that on right quick. Oh, I almost forgot to put this in too. Dang it. I like this trailing arm setup. It was really cool. Not sure. So question, do the actual shafts just kind of hang out in the open? Um, well, they're back there, yeah, um, but there's plenty of protection. Like, it would take a pretty fantastic obstacle or rock to uh, to get up in there. I don't think you're going to find too many problems in that regard. Like, it's totally, completely hidden from the bottom. Nice and clean back there. Uh, okay, that's it for those steps. Now we're just getting into the nitty gritty details here. B. What do you think the B stuff is? A. T. I have to imagine that it's silver parts. There's all that stuff. Yay. I'm sure that comes into play at some point. Where's the B stuff? Hmm. 
It's odd. Hmm. Do some hunting around. I don't remember seeing those parts. Maybe they're in the other room. I will check real quick. They're definitely not in the box. One second, folks. I shall return. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Found them. They weren't gray, they were black. You. That was almost nerve nervousness inducing. No, these haven't been attached yet. Did I miss a step there? I think I did. Yes. Block nut thin. Okay. Get that stuff back in there for now. Messy, I know. Look this over. Pieces on here. These part tree clippers are excellent. They're from, where are they from? I'll tell you one second. From Zoron Corp. X-O-R-O-N. They're great. Another one on. In terms of fit and finish, this is certainly one of the best Tamiya kits I've built in a long time. It's pretty impressive, I do have to say. Like everything just, it's like it's meant to go together. What I 
I mean? It's really good. A3. Not a ton of leftover stuff either. There's a lot less waste than I think I recall from previous kits. There's a lot of like extra little bits and pieces that they would put on a parts tree that would be used in other things later on down the road. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Okay, where are we at here? I'm gonna get some nuts. There's one, there's the other, okay. Six thirty, three hours. Bob's RC, you look familiar. What high school did you go to? Uh, I'm from Canada, so um, probably not the high school you're thinking of. <laughs> but maybe, who knows? All right, where's that piece? J five, J seven. J5, there it is. All right. That or that. Probably goes right there. Yes. Okay. So am I? Thornhill. I went to, okay, then I went to, uh, uh, it was called Turner. That's the high school I went to. J.A. A. Turner. Transponder stay. I don't think we'll be putting a transponder on this. Maybe, though. Who knows? J7. Go on there. 12 mils. Chuck's RC Habit, thank you very much. Uh, dang, I'm late. Looks almost finished. Hey, bud. Love the build. Thanks for sharing. Haven't had a buggy since my grasshopper back in the day. Maybe it's time. I would say it's probably time, Chuck. These are... Uh, this is proving to be a very nice kit. Very nice. Oh, okay, cool. Winston Churchill, interesting. Okay, I know that in high school. Um, hmm. What year did you graduate?
put the transponder mount on for a new 24 hour race. You know what? 24 hours of BBX would be pretty fun. I'll have to, I'll have to ask Josh if he thinks that's a good idea because I like it. <laughs> that, that could be really fun actually. <laughs> Um, not seeing those don't get screwed down yet, maybe. Weird. Yeah, I don't see a screw for that one. No Satan power? <laughs> Maybe it does get done later. No, it's showing screws. Just not... Hmm. Weird. It's nice how that all goes together there. And it goes right into the nut. Nice. Yeah, I don't see which go how these attach or with what. I'm guessing it's these. It's odd that I can't see that anywhere though. Sense. Okay. Now we're putting, holy cow, we're putting wheels and tires on. Are we that far into this? Uh, I'm not going to glue them for now. That would take precious time I don't have. Down to 24% on battery life. You can use these or uh, anything. <laughs> anything you like. These are nice looking tires too. Finally, like a new tire and uh, wheel combo. So nice. Stuff those foams. Go. What size are the tires? Uh, no comment. It doesn't say what size they are. I'm going to guess Tamiya. Proprietary. They're not a mega soft compound. They are uh, pretty hard. They are, are not as hard as previous Tamiya tires, so, so we've got that going for us. Rough ride. 2.2, 1.9. Yeah, I don't I don't know, Phoenix. Uh I don't have They could be 2.2, or they could be 1.9s. Do not use any of our touring car wheels with this kit. That sounds like a challenge. <laughs> 1 1.9 front and rear 26 millimeter wide. They will break. <laughs> well, okay, fine. You heard it there first. Hmm. 
The included wheels are made of nylon. Oh. For more pliability. I can't, uh, and I think everybody should show their appreciation for Tamiya hanging out with us all day today while we built this. It was very, very cool of them to do that. So thank you to Tamiya for sending this to me and also for watching the whole stream and participating. Thank you. It's very cool of you guys. I'm sure there were other more important things you could have been doing. Zoom out a little bit more here. Oops, oh boy. There we go. Same width of wheel, front and rear. And not like a weird, uh, you know, buggy wheel or anything, that, like a short course wheel. They're just a regular everyday normal width and like I said not gluing right now but they definitely should be glued this thing is going to have enough kick I think and we just need some hexes Yeah, you are pretty awesome to hang out with. That is true. Okay, let's get these fronts on here. tight on the hex. There we go. Rapidly approaching the end. got a nice amount of weight to it it's not like it's not overly heavy it's not an overly heavy buggy it's not overly light either it's kind of like right in the middle am i missing a bearing there oh yeah i am doi doi am i not there we go that's better I got the bearing. I got the bearing. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, there's also some spacers, too. Whoops. That would explain a lot. No bearings in the front? Yeah, they're already in there. They're, that was many steps ago. Um, let's pretend. No, let's do it right. Let's do it right. Magnet to the rescue. 
Okay, what do we need in there? C6. Then the bearing. Much better. Then MA13. He's up. Two on both sides. Three. Then we can put the pin back in. And our hex. And our wheel and tire. Much better. Andre, welcome to the show. Thanks for watching. Cool. All right. Never mind the messiness of the ESC and receiver and no interior uh, portion, but there it is, basically. That's the buggy as it sits. Nice weight balance. It's a little bit heavier in the rear like you would want. Um, but once you get the battery in there, I think that's going to be pretty nice. That's pretty great. It's got a great profile. Um, now I think it's just a matter of putting the body panels on. And uh, I haven't got all the decals on yet. So um, let's just imagine, if you will, that it's going to look a lot like that. Which... I think looks fantastic. Wow. Uh, there's obviously, there's more panels to go still. We have to get all these side panels on and such. Um, and uh, the rear panels, but that's basically it. That's basically it. I love it. I'm, I'm really, really pleased. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shorty style pack. Uh, it'll take a long 5,000 mil square pack too, it looks like as well. 2S. Um, purple is the color of royalty. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. And uh, this is one really great looking buggy. I cannot wait to get all the rest of the decals on, get these panels finished, and uh, take it out for some video because I think it's going to look spectacular in in just moving uh, it does come with a ton of additional light buckets uh, so you can really detail it out and uh, i'm definitely going to be doing that as well as adding a ton of lights that's going to be really cool um, they do offer a bunch of led light buckets included there is also mesh for the sides so you don't so you can have sort of like that protective area for the driver i am really chuffed it's fantastic it was a really easy build too instructions were classic great tamia uh lots of suspension travel ah oh, man i am really really excited really excited to get this one out there uh the purple i think just sets it off it's so nice to see a non-box art version and uh i'll do up the driver and uh we'll get this thing all done and um and wrapped up and do a nice running video with it because I think it's definitely going to warrant that. So there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. Six six forty six. So three hours and sixteen minutes to assemble this. Uh, and that's uh, that's it. I'm feeling pretty good. It looks great. I'm really excited. Uh, and my thank you to Tamia and. My thanks. Does it come with the spare tire for the top mount? No, it does not come with the spare. So if you wanted the spare, I think they have to buy that separately. Um, let me see. 
Uh, if desired, a separately sold front tire and wheel can be attached to the roll cage. Order from the aftermarket service card on page 36. So there you go. Amazing. I'm so happy. Uh, it's been a long time since uh, I've put together a Tamiya kit and not kept saying over and over again, that's the Tamiya way. I'm going to switch uh, views here. Uh, because I want to share like a sort of like here there we go now I can just hold it up <sighs> yeah it looks so good I'm so glad that I have one of these this is fantastic can't wait to do a full review on it and give you a rundown of how it drives but uh, if you want to check out some other content Harley Designs Competition X RC and uh, RC driver. I'll have these as well. So there you go. No, don't say that. What did I say? Uh, I'm really excited. This is going to be so fun to drive. It's uh, it's definitely, it made my day, it made my Friday pretty fun. Uh, with all the rest of the panels on there, I think it's really going to sing. That purple just looks so rad. I'm glad I made that choice. So there you go. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Uh, you've got two hours and 12 minutes before... Uh, oh, the Tammy away. <laughs> you've got two hours and 12 minutes before Josh jumps on his stream tonight. He'll probably show his off a little bit as well. I hope he does. Uh, I'll wrap this up. Whoops. I'll wrap this up off stream and uh, we'll get a running video done ASAP. Thanks again to Tamiya for sending this my way, and thank you all for watching. Let me thank a few other people here. Uh, thank you to The Hobby Room on All Fours RC, The Underdog, RC Underdog, uh, Hobby Room again, The DeLeon Slot Car Raceway, Fdug Willman, uh, Blind Guy RC, Jason Reeves, and Chuck's RC Habit. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll see you again soon, and thanks uh, for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend. Love you, bye. <laughs>